Greetings. This is Honorable Japal. I, hello, how are you doing today? I, hello, how are you feeling today? Not good. Why not good? Janu. All that I go on. No, man. People. Me just make a phone call and check up on my bridging in Jamaica, big stone. A great, 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 great patriarch of the movements of Ja people and Marcus Garvey people and for all the people. Seeing, the man just tell me, say, he have stage 4 cancer, prostate. What? Oh, yeah, so there I never used to check up on the, yourself, oh, yeah. You never used to go doctor? No. But don't feel no way. One not dead, we not dash way. Who God bless, no man curse. This is just the beginning. Seeing, don't worry about one man. Seeing, but this is a message to all the brethren and the man them and the youth them in Jamaica. Don't be illiterate and ignorant towards health. Health is part of our wealth. God said, if you're sick, seek physician. We have many different physicians in different fields. And if you're ignorant, you will suffer. So this is an example from Big Stone. Yo, this is King Lock again. And this is my appeal. Yeah, you hear me? Man, dash where you pride. And get your prostate check. What you've done for me. Your blood has set me free. Jesus, my Lord. Look what you've done for me. I'll never be the same Since the day that you called my name Yahweh, Yahweh Look what you've done for me What can I do for you, my Lord? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen Welcome once again to Big Stone Television Today is Monday January 29th. Now today at about 10 o'clock, I had an appointment with Dr. Janice Fisher. She's one of the best cancer specialists in the Caribbean. So as you know, Big Stone is in a fighting mood, fighting to make sure that I kick this individual that's in my body, that's occupying my body, Get out. His time is up and I want him out of my body. That is the discipline and the determination that I have. So I went to Bio Regeneration Integrated Medical Center. That's located at 15 Aining Road in Kingston. When my doctor came out, a very beautiful African woman, she sat me down and says, let me go to your stats and see what's going on with you Mr. Sinclair. First thing first, my blood sugar level is at 5.5. Another thing is, I used to weigh say about 269 pounds. My weight is now down to 235 pounds. Also, remember the other day when I had that scared and my blood pressure dropped to 76 over 56. This morning, my blood pressure was 123 over 73. Great. Now, when she sat down and she went through the CT scan that I did on January 5th, she said, Mr. Sinclair, I want to check your heart. So what she did, she gave me a heart rate variability test. A heart rate variability test. She pushed my finger into some things and she put one over my wrist, another over my wrist, 
one over my left foot, one over my right, and I sat there and she said, for five minutes, Mrs. Sinclair, I want you to sit still and don't move. So for five minutes, I was there, you know, thinking about beating this, this guy, thinking about telling him that his service, uh, his rental agreement is up and he has to leave because that's how serious I am. And um, after the five minutes she removed, you know, the electoral stuff that she had on me and she sat me down and she talked to me. She said, Mr. Sinclair, first thing first, you have a great heart. Your heart is that of an elite athlete. So I say elite athlete, what do you mean that? She said, just what I said. Your heart is in good condition. Uh, the cancer has not spread to any of your vital organs like your lungs, your liver, or your kidney. It is just contained in your prostate, your left iliac wing, and your left femur. I guess the left iliac wing is like your hip. So that is where I'm feeling most of the pain. And I want to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. This guy attacks me any time after 12 o'clock, sometime 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. This guy keep attacking me. I have to be fighting this guy, fighting this guy. Anyway, also what she said, she looked at the report of Dr. Garrett Reed, who's my urologist. Big up yourself, Dr. Garrett Reed. And she said, Dr. Reed is on point. Whatever he's doing, keep it up. Uh, the injection that I got and the medication, you know, the Bicol 50, etc., etc. Those are the proper medication. And I feel so good, you know, to see a specialist saying that my doctor that I have a lot of trust and confidence in is on point. And I know he was because he's been doing this a long time. He was the one who did the biopsy. He was the one who told me of my bad news and so on and so forth. Everything that was done in regards to my prostate cancer is under the portfolio of Dr. Garrett Reed. So I salute you, sir. Then she said, Mr. Sinclair, we can give you as much medication as possible. Now, these medication that we're giving you are great medications, but what makes cancer get out of your body is your lifestyle, your eating it, lifestyle and how you think you have to know think that you don't even have cancer so that is what i'm telling you this guy that comes into my body and thinks he can take up shop i'm gonna kick him the hell out he has to get out now you might ask why is big stone telling you all this about my personal life my reason for telling you this is because for far too long a lot of people becomes quiet with their personal life. They don't want to talk about their illness. We're now in the era of information. And when you have good information, when you dispel good information, it can also educate someone. Or uh, what it is, is also might prob someone to go and do the necessary tests. Your health is your wealth. I want to thank again uh, the leader of the opposition, the Honorable Mark Golden, for looking out for me for you know standing in solidarity for me and to also further spread the awareness of prostate problems and prostate cancer especially in jamaica pick up yourself again mr golden then i want to thank nesbitt of course nesbitt is my son you know uh nature ellis thank you again nature ellis nature ellis is another of my son happy Thank you so much, Abija. Abija is another one of my son. And of course, my teacher, one that is my protector, like a father figure to me, who also suffer from some issues with prostate. Not cancerous, but some issue with prostate. Eru Aisha Kamosa Menele. Salute to all of you. Thank you so much. And I will come back again as the report gets better. But, oh, by the way, Normally, my urologist said I should wait until three months later, which would have been in April, when I go back to get the other shot. But my specialist is saying, well, let's go back in three weeks' time. We want to see what these medication is doing to this bad boy. Is it kicking this bad boy's butt? We want to know ahead of time. So instead of waiting until April 2024, which is on three months' time, I'm going to go back in another three weeks or so 
and do my PSA and I will come back and tell you the results. Also, herbs is the healing of the nation. Not going to say too much on that, but you know, big soon I'm into my herbs. I'm making sure I'm drinking my sour sap leaf tea. I'm eating sour sap by itself. No sour sap juice, just raw sour sap. I'm just eating it. Um, I'm guinea and weed. I'm, I'm doing everything. Well, I believe really, you know what I mean? Um, Cersei, um, Man Piaba, and all those great, they make great tea. And I'm, I'm thanking that. I also want to thank Miss Bonnie. No, Miss Bonnie Owens has been my friend for 10 years. Miss Bonnie, I love you. Kian done, Miss Bonnie. I want you to remember that. But Miss Bonnie is a tough teacher. You know, she kind of get a little firm with me. And Big Stone, I want you to, you know what I mean? And yeah, I said, okay, Miss Bonnie. And I look out for her call. So I salute you again, Bonnie Owen, an artist. Also, Saskia King. Saskia King lost her husband to prostate cancer. And I want to say again my condolences when she came down all the way from Amsterdam. I actually went to the funeral service because she brought his remain in an urn and buried him in, in um, Manchester somewhere. So Saskia King, I want to thank you so much for you putting up with me. And of course, Beverly Kelso, what can I say? Boswell, all my friends, George Pang, I tell you, all my brothers, they are looking out for me. I'm in great help. I'm in great shape. They look good, don't it? Big Stone look good. Yeah, I am a success story. Thank you so much for all the concern, all my many fans out there. Orville, oh my God, Scala. Orville, oh, can I forget about you? Orville, oh, all the way in Canada. Pick up yourself, Orville. Oh, Thank you so much, man. Always on top of things, making sure he calls me every hour and the hour, every morning. Big Stone, are you all right? Big Stone, are you okay? So, Alvin Williams, I salute you, my brother. And thank you so much to the hundreds of thank yous and the prayers and everything that you guys are doing for me. Remember, the crowdfunding is Big Stone as stage four cancer. I want to change that after a while. And it will read Big Stone Foundation, fighting against stage four cancer. I don't want to claim that guy because that guy don't live in my body. He's just the temporary, all right? Go to Real Helping Hands, make a donation. And if you can't make a donation, share the video. Share, this, share the link. Because when you share the link, if you can't make a donation and you share the link to someone, maybe they can make a donation. And I also promise, and I'm serious, when I look into my life and what my life has taught me. I want to be an advocate. I want to be there for others. I want to help living for the sake of others. And there are a lot of people in Jamaica, a lot of men out there that even though the test is free at Kingston Public Hospital, they still have to find $5,430 to pay for the needles to do the biopsy. I only hope the government, right? I only hope the government could find a way and waive that $5,430 because when the person do the test and if that test come back that they have enlarged prostate and they cannot do a biopsy, do you know what they're going to be thinking? They're going to go crazy. So the Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Andrew Holmes, please sir, see what you can do to remove that $5,430 that the patient, after being tested for free, have to find and pay for the needles and come back to get their biopsy done. All right? Big up yourself and big up all the people that think Jamaica, work for Jamaica. You know, I just want you to know that Big Stone love you and I will continue to work for my country. I love my country. Jamaica, little bit, you know, but with Talawa. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to Big Stone Television, so we are now here, pal. Do the right thing, my man. And big up Yaga Lifestyle.com for your herbs and everything that is protein and so on. Go support them. Isis Miller, big up yourself, Sharana Sean, and Theo. Thank you so much for being a close friend, a great friend. Thank you so much for watching. I love you.